But if you provide dynamic and engaging content within the email client, user can select desired options and on the basis of these selections, next course of action will be decided. And the best part is user can submit the response in the email client itself without opening a new tab. Hey guys, I'm Hemant. Today I'm going to talk about how you can achieve interactivity within the email client with the help of Google Amp. Before that, hey, if you haven't subscribed it yet, please click on subscribe button and stay connected. Without further ado, let's get started. Google AMP, AMP, Accelerated Mobile Pages. It's an open source framework initiated by Google in 2015 and it helps to develop websites, stories, ads and emails. Since we are in the episode 4 of interactive email series, I'll be sticking with AMP for email only. AMP for email supports limited components which are listed here in the AMP official documentation. Let's go ahead and see AMP image. This is the AMP image specification and if you notice, uh, this documentation contains everything you need to know about this component along with the example You can directly open this example in the developer playground where you can develop your content and test it Let's add one more component and test it This is the complete specification of M form component If you notice this warning to submit the form so we need to fulfill specific course requirements This is a very important thing to discuss. I'll be discussing this thing in later episodes for now, let's concentrate on how M for email works. So I'll be copying this marker from this example and use it in the playground. Please notice these script tags. Presently, two script tags are there. Now let's paste the form markup. As soon as you use form markup, thankfully playground has automatically added the script tag to support form component. If you are developing M component in some editor, please make sure to add relevant script tags for the components. If you notice this red circle which indicates error in the markup that says target attribute is not supported for email. Some of the attributes are only relevant for the website. So we need to remove this attribute from this markup. And now the error is gone. Now the other thing is from this playground you can also test the responsiveness of your AMP email template. Alright, we have prepared the AMP email to send our customers. Now how to send AMP powered emails? Just a heads up, many email service providers don't support sending AMP email functionality. But few of them do support such as SendGrid, Sputnik, SparkPost, SendPlus and Amazon SES and Pinpoint. So decide your ESP first. For development and testing, let's avoid these ESPs. Good news is, Gmail provides another playground to send AMP email for testing. So we'll be using that tool. As you can see, this playground looks almost similar to the previous one. If you notice, you cannot test the responsiveness of your AMP email here. But from this playground, you can send the AMP email to your logged in Gmail ID. Now let's copy the template which we have prepared before and paste it here to send it. Alright, the email is looking same. Let's go ahead and make the changes in the email subject. Please provide your feedback. Now we'll click on send button. Okay, our email has been successfully sent. Let's check the email now. Oh, oh, we didn't get the email which we have sent. Instead, it is showing this instruction. This is expected. Since we are in the development phase, we have to enable some settings which supports dynamic email. Now go to the gear icon, see all settings. Okay, now search for dynamic email. Here it is. Okay, so if you notice enable dynamic email, this checkbox must be enabled. Now go to the developer setting and here amp at the rate gmail.dev always allow. I'll I'm marking choosing this option. I'm not considering second option for now. So this must be enabled uh, because we are sending uh, from the playground and playground uses this amp at the rate dev. Uh, email ID. So now let's refresh this Gmail. All right. So after enabling the dynamic email setting and uh, refreshing the browser, we are able to see the dynamic email template which we have prepared in the playground. If you notice this icon, this is the icon of Google AMP. On the similar lines, I have prepared one AMP email feedback template which accepts number and text. I have provided the link of this template in the description down below. For the reference, you can check that out. Let's change the subject of this template as well and send it. Now I'm gonna verify my email whether I received it or not. If I received how it's looking, it's looking perfect what we have designed. 
So on click of this button, all the data provided by the customer will be stored in the database eventually. We have already prepared the backend part needed for this. If you haven't checked the previous episodes, I would definitely recommend you guys to check those episodes. That's it for today guys. I hope you like this video. If you have any query and suggestions, please write it down below. If you like this video, please don't forget to click on like button. And if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Done. Thank you guys. See you in the next video.